Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Today I wanted to share with you the best canned vegetables that you should want to have in your food storage stockpile in your prepper pantry. Vegetables are picked at the peak of their harvest. They're usually processed within hours. Canned vegetables are nearly the same nutritional value as fresh or frozen, but now they're in a shelf-stable format that you can easily stockpile so that you have enough food to feed your family. They're also so versatile because they're already prepared. All you have to do is open the can and add them into whatever it is that you want. You can use canned vegetables in soups, stews, salads, casseroles. You can even make them into quiches and add them into pasta sauces. There's a whole variety of different ways to add vegetables. The one downside of canned vegetables is sometimes they're processed and preserved with salt or even sugar. You can find them labeled no salt, but then you should check on the ingredients in case it's something that you don't want to consume or that you're sensitive to. They're naturally low in sodium, and so the processing is what adds the sodium in. But if you buy them without it, then you don't have those issues to worry about. The first canned vegetable that I like to use is green beans. These are great because you can serve them as is, you can uh, top them with butter, you can toss them into salads with some Italian seasoning or dressings, you can make them into green bean casseroles. There's all kinds of ways to use green beans. Probably the most versatile canned vegetable is tomatoes. You can buy them as tomato sauce, tomato paste, uh, canned tomatoes, diced tomatoes, whole tomatoes, stewed tomatoes. They come in all kinds of different formats and even in things like enchilada sauces and mixed in with things like rotel where they're spiced up with other ingredients. Sometimes we forget that we have canned vegetables when we have tomatoes because they don't even put them with the other vegetables. We find them in the store next to the pasta, which that's nice because that's what they go with, but don't forget to count them in your vegetable stockpile. Canned corn is another great, delicious canned vegetable. You can find it as kernel corn. You can buy creamed corn. They're great to serve as just a side dish. You can add them into soups, stews, even into cornbread. Uh, corn is versatile and they add that nice little crunch that sometimes we don't get from other vegetables. Next, you can choose mixed vegetables. And I've noticed that I always thought mixed vegetables, mixed vegetable medley, I thought they were the same until I really started looking one day. And mixed vegetable medley has potatoes in it. So they do have different ingredients. So you might wanna just look that over next time you're shopping. It was something that I didn't really realize for a long time. So I like the mixed vegetables because they're so easy to add into soup, stews, casseroles, make pot pies and maybe even turn it into a simple stew with some meat and some brothy gravy. You can add the mixed vegetables and have a nice easy stew. Put some biscuits on top and then you have like a big pot pie. Canned artichokes are also very handy. They're pretty delicious. Sometimes they sell them in a jar as well, but you can find them in a can. I like to use them in salads. I also add them into pasta. And they're also great if you like to make spinach artichoke dip. It's really delicious. Sauerkraut is a canned vegetable that maybe you don't have in your prepper pantry stockpile. I like to put bratwurst in my crock pot, top it with sauerkraut, let it steep and simmer for a while, and it can be just delicious. You can also top in, say, frozen or dehydrated red green peppers and onions, and that makes it even tastier. I also recently made a video about a a sauerkraut soup that I made, kapushniak, and I'll put a link to that video in case you missed it and you'd like to know how to make soup with sauerkraut. It's really delicious. Canned potatoes are also versatile. You can find them sliced, whole, or diced. You can put them into soups, stews, and casseroles. I've even used a can of potatoes and added some hard-boiled eggs and a few other dressing items and turned it into a quick potato salad. It wasn't the best I ever had, but it was certainly a nice filling meal and we were happy to have it. What about canned carrots? I like carrots fresh, but it's nice to occasionally have some cans of carrots to add into soup, stews, and casseroles. I don't like them as much as I would say a whole can of green beans, so vegetables like that that I don't want to eat 
lots of them, I buy them in a smaller size. It's nearly the same price, but if, I, if you don't want all of the extra, don't, and we don't want to just throw food away, sometimes it makes more sense to buy it in a size that fits what our recipes and our needs are. Dice green chilies. If you ever want to spice up a meal, toss in some dice green chilies. You can mix them right in with eggs for breakfast. You can turn them into chili soups and stews. There are lots of ways to use green chilies. I used to even make like a kind of like a quiche in a loaf pan and I would add green chilies with some Monterey Jack cheese and top it with say I think it was milk and eggs and bake it like a little quiche and that was really good too. We used to call it chilloriano but I don't think that's really what it was. If you've ever made a casserole, a soup or a stew and it turned out kind of mushy Toss in some water chestnuts. They don't really add a lot of flavor, but they add some crunch and pizzazz to your meal and they can really help rescue something that's gone too long that just didn't turn out to have that uh, flavorful bite that you want. So that's the main reason I have water chestnuts in my prepper pantry, but they're also great. There's lots of recipes that call for them. How about olives? I don't use a lot of olives, so I tend to also buy the small cans of these. You can find whole olives, sliced olives, bits of olives. It just depends on what you're looking for. My little granddaughter loves olives, and so I keep them for her specifically because I think she would eat a whole can all by herself if I allowed it. Other canned vegetables that I just don't have here right now that you might want to add to your prepper pantry long-term food storage stockpile would be asparagus. They're already cooked and it's just impossible to get fresh asparagus through much of the year. So having some in your pantry, you can lay it across a nice uh, plate of pasta, add it into pasta, put it over a salad. You can even include it when you're making a quiche. Asparagus can be really tasty. Beets can be a huge mess to bake yourself because they can stain things and they can really be a mess. So it can be very convenient to have a can of beets if you want to just add them into a salad or have them as a side dish. Some people serve them warm, some people serve them cold. Figure out how you like them if it's something that you enjoy. I'm not a big fan of canned peas or canned mushrooms so I don't have any here in my stockpile today. And that's the whole point of choose the vegetables that you like. Don't get these because I said so. Get the ones that you want. That's how you have your prepper pantry absolutely modified to meet your basic needs of what your family wants to eat. Also, don't overlook pumpkin. If you have cans of pumpkin, it, not pumpkin pie filling, but cans of pumpkin, you can make pumpkin chili, you can make pumpkin brownies, you can make all kinds of dishes with pumpkin, even into soup, pumpkin soup. There are lots of ways to use pumpkin, so you might consider adding a few cans into your food storage stockpile. For the longest lasting canned vegetables, I buy the dehydrated ones. These are a variety that I bought from Augustin Farms. I can find Augustin Farms sometimes in the Walmart here in Alaska, but I've also ordered them from Walmart online and even from Amazon. So there are different ways to source these foods if you don't have them in your local stores. Some of the examples of the vegetables that I buy from Augustin Farms are carrots because then you can just sprinkle some in to anything that you're making soups and stews. You could rehydrate them first, but if you're going to be making a soup or a stew, just sprinkle them in and allow them to go along and cook while your super stew is cooking. I also buy the dried onions from Augustin Farms because we know onions are really great and that's something we don't really ever want to be without because we add them into nearly everything, don't we? Anyway, I do. I have tomato powder that I bought from Augustin Farms and this is nice because it includes on the back, it has different recipes so you can use it to make barbecue sauce, sweet and sour sauce, homemade ketchup, tomato sauce, tomato paste, tomato juice, and seasoning ideas. There's all kinds of information on the back so that you can know how to use something like the tomato powder. I also like the vegetable stew mix. Stews are so easy to make and then you have a variety of ingredients right in this one can. So then if you need to open up some of your longest lasting food because you need to make some meals. 
I don't have to open carrots, onions, peas, and beans. I can open the stew blend and have that variety without needing to open all the different cans of individual items. That's why I bought the vegetable stew mix. These are the favorite canned vegetables that I like to have in my prepper pantry and my food storage stockpile. So figure out which are the ones that you like. What will your family eat? What do you want to have on hand when you want to go and make a meal and you don't want to have to go to the store? Maybe it's winter time, nothing's growing in the garden. And then we may not have always the ability to have our freezer running or keep it full. We can reach into our pantry, get some canned foods, reach into our long-term food storage, and have some long-lasting, 25-year lasting uh, vegetables, which once you open these, you need to use them within a year. But if you leave them on the shelf, like everything else, cool, dark, and dry, these vegetables can last for 25 years. The regular cans of vegetables might last, say, five years, but don't let them go too long. I have actually had a can of green beans that I opened after quite a few years, and they were blue looking and it wasn't anything you'd want to eat. You want to use some of your foods, then you want to rotate and replace it so the new food would go behind the foods you already have and you push it all forward just like they do in the store. First in, first out. So the oldest food is what you're using and that way you have the longest lifespan of the foods in your storage because you're always adding newer, fresher stuff that's going to last longer into the back. Let us know in the comments below what are your favorite vegetables and maybe even tell us a few tips and tricks on how you use them to turn them into some unusual recipe we might like to know. I hope you'll like my video, share it with someone you think might enjoy it, and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.